Hey, what's up, you guys? I woke up this morning and it was raining in Los Angeles, like really unexpectedly. I thought, I mean, it's only been sunny for the past like two weeks that I've been here, so it was a nice surprise, but also a really weird surprise because it never really happens. And I don't know, with the rain comes like many emotions, especially in Los Angeles. I, uh, I get really excited and really happy when it rains, whereas I feel like most people when it rains, they get really sad and kind of like moody. So because I was really aware of that spectrum of emotion, I really wanted to make a video revolving around that. So yeah, I just kind of made a list of emotions and I kind of typed what I felt about those emotions and at what point in my life I specifically remember like feeling those emotions at their most. Let's go. Happiness is obviously something like we're all striving. Oh my God, look at like the sun is shining. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> Happiness is something that we are all constantly striving for in our lives. And the time that I felt the most happy is probably the last year of my life. And I feel really kind of fortunate and blessed to say that. I don't know, I've just been going through a lot of changes and a lot of good things have been happening, so yeah. Quite on the contrary, on the flip side. The saddest point in my life that I can remember is probably about a year and a half ago. This was the point in my life that I was really, really struggling with my sexuality. I was really struggling with my identity and who I was and it was eating me alive. I remember feeling so much sadness and I felt so alone at that point in my life. But look at me now a couple years later and I'm saying that this is like the happiest I've ever been. It's really, really crazy, but it's really refreshing to see that things can kind of change that quickly. So if you're at an emotional low in your life at this point, just know that it can change really quickly. I don't know why, but I feel like I get asked this question a lot, like, what's one specific memory from your childhood, or like, when do you remember being the most happy or relaxed? And I always get really nostalgic and go back to this general period of time when I used to go to my family cabin up north in Minnesota with my family. And I just remember always being so like at peace and relaxed there because we would have bonfires and go swimming, and there like wasn't TV or a lot of like good cell phone service. So yeah, it was just pure family time and activity and just a lot of relaxation. Fun fact about me, I absolutely hate to be surprised. I really love my calendar, I really love planning things out, and that's probably not an okay thing. I'm really comfortable knowing like exactly when and where things are gonna happen, so I don't like to be surprised. And I remember one time when I was younger that I got a surprise birthday party, and I feel like a lot of people would really like to have a surprise birthday party, but for me, it was the worst, and I remember almost wanting to cry, and I was so happy once it was over. Knock on wood, who is it? Okay, I'm lame. I don't get sick and I feel very fortunate not to get sick and I don't know if it's because I have found some like special method to keep myself like healthy. Why couldn't I say that? What just happened? I think I had a stroke. I don't know if I found some sort of special method to keep myself healthy, but I don't get sick that much and I feel really fortunate. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I'm just jinxing myself. Ang angry. I mean angry. Again, I feel very fortunate that I don't really get that angry nowadays. I maybe get like frustrated is a better word, but not angry. But growing up, I dealt with like a lot of more, I guess, self-acceptance issues. Probably foreshadowing a few things that I had to go through later in life, but you know, whatever. But yeah, I was like very overweight and very different from my siblings and I think it frustrated me a lot, so I was very angry growing up. Good thing things have changed. I also think I was very jealous growing up as well. And I don't know if it was because I was envious of like my siblings. Okay, it was definitely because I was envious of my siblings. I don't know, I feel like I always just wanted what everyone else had. Grass was always greener on the other side for me growing up and I got very jealous. Again, I'm glad I've changed. I get the butterflies pretty frequently still. In particular, I still get so nervous when I have to speak in front of crowds. Especially when I have some sort of script or something that I have to say, I get very nervous. Like a month ago, I had to like speak at a family dinner and I still got nervous. It was like people that knew me and loved me and cared about me, but I still got really nervous to speak in front of them. And then a couple months ago, I was at a YouTube thing and I had to speak in front of a bunch of people. And again, very nervous. Very, very, very nervous. But I'm trying to work on that, and that's really something I would really love to get better at this year. The most excited I think I've ever been is when I moved to Los Angeles like three years ago. Everything was so new and so fresh and I had no expectations. But at the same time, like I had all the expectations. I truly felt like anything was possible and I could be whoever I wanted and do whatever I wanted. And that was just like such an amazing time in my life. Not that I don't feel that way now, but I just remember like feeling it so, so much at that point. This one I had to think a lot about and I think I was the most curious 
after I had come out of the closet. Again, I just felt like anything was possible and I felt like I just had stumbled upon this new world and it was just like really freeing and I was so curious about like what was gonna happen next. And that was really, really recent. It's only been a couple years. Moving back to the last two, I think I've been simultaneously the most curious and excited and happy and afraid like the past three years of my life. I think this is part of growing up, but I really do feel like I'm on this like emotional roller coaster. I feel like every day is different and everything is constantly changing. And that can be both like fun and exciting, but it's really, really scary. When you step back from what you're doing and kind of look at your life, it's really, really scary. And I could easily tell you to like, don't do that, that's scary, don't do that. But I genuinely believe that fear is really, really good. More so being uncomfortable, which is a different type of fear. But if you realize that you're a little bit uncomfortable constantly, I think that's a good thing because it means you're trying new things and you're experiencing new things. And new is very, very uncomfortable and very scary. So yeah, that's uh, that's my video for this week. It's a little bit different. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you have a big thumbs up. Also, if you want to answer the questions I did, please leave them in the comments down below. Also, fun fact, this is the second week in a row that I'm wearing my own clothing. <laughs> Look at it, it's so beautiful! Look at the colors, just a lot of emotion going on here. A lot of emo- wow. That's something different. But for all of you that don't know, this is my clothing line, Common Culture, and it's just so great. This sweater is comfortable, and I feel very secure in it. Also, very stylish. CommonCulture.co. Seriously, if you do want one of these, make sure to head over to CommonCulture.co because they are finally shipped. Just the other day, I finally saw that you guys were getting your Common Culture products and it just warms my heart. So if you've got one, if you're getting one, send me photos, please. I also saw that someone made a haul video with one the other day, so please do that. Okay, I've been blabbing on long enough, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. If you did, make sure to pick those up, leave a comment below. Bye.